Jeremy Cook here, and in this video I'm going to be making one of these into a MIDI capacitor kalimba with a Raspberry Pi Pico. I'll also be enhancing one of these larger kalimbas with a custom PCB. Should be awesome, so follow along to see how I did it and see how it sounds. Making control a computer through a Raspberry Pi Pico. All I need is some resistors, one, one mega ohm resistors. Hopefully make these touch sensitive. The keys themselves appear to be numbered, but I don't know what the deal is. So it's 1542 I guess I've got a record of it now if I need to put it back together. What I'm going to do is cut a hole in it for the Raspberry Pi Pico, slide it in there, should be just enough room to go in there nicely. So I'll do that on my milling machine. Obviously you could do that with anything else. So this is actually all solid. I took a half inch out of it, but it's um, solid through there. And I guess they just tapped into this for the uh, for the bolt. I've certainly done that before on things, but interesting to see that done here. Either way though, the Pico should fit in there nicely. So using the capacitive touch sensing on the Raspberry Pi Pico requires a you know million ohm or, or thereabouts resistor. So what I'm gonna do is solder that on here and then basically make a bus to the ground there. So that should, should work out pretty well, I think. It's kind of an unconventional setup for these headers, but I'll be able to plug things in from the side and save some space while still being able to glue it down like that. So at least that's the, the hope. Hmm. So that covers up the boot select button, so I may just clip that off. Still plenty of IO to play with. All right, hooked everything up. So hopefully I can test this out and maybe it'll work. That's actually a lot more work than I anticipated because these are spread out on the back, probably partially because of soldering on the um, resistors, but I've got a solution for that. Doesn't sound so good. Pretty much unnecessary marking all these for position, although having them lined up in the more or less the same order is nice. So I've got this all hooked up. Um, the idea is that the, the ground, it's kind of to a bus, a couple buses that go to the Pico hooked up here. So what I'll do is, is test it out. So all, all good there and hopefully it's all connected. So hopefully this should be, hopefully this will be continuous. Maybe it's the other brown. Good, good. All right, so the only problem here that I can see is that, you know, it's kind of hard to pick out each individual note, but otherwise it should be kind of a cool, uh, cool MIDI instrument. Well, I'm happy to report what you see here is the world's first MIDI kalimba, at least I believe it to be. So unlike a lot of my other projects, I put in some code that I had, modified it for the different IO that I had here, and it pretty much just worked. I was, uh, Pretty impressed with myself, honestly. So, you get a lower note, higher note. You can play the individual notes even though your finger might touch the other ones just a little bit. But not too bad, especially considering this is just pretty much the first try at it. Then, you know, I could do multi multiple notes at once which can sound great, terrible or decent. So I'm looking forward to playing with this a bit more. 
Um, also, I've got it, you know, you get the light that comes on when it plays something, so that's kind of nice. I've got the code up on GitHub, or I'll have at least the original code. It's, it's pretty easy to modify. For now, this is working out pretty well. Yes, it's apparently a, a comparatively gigantic Columba. Comes with a little hammer, that's kind of neat. You know, for like $10 on Amazon, it's pretty pretty good. Also has this thing that says how to play Kalimba, so, you know, oh, okay. We'll see a section about how to make it into a MIDI instrument, but that's just a new thing, I think. Now, I was hoping that maybe there was something you could unscrew and you could put it in here, but apparently, um, apparently not, and that, that's okay. It's got a cat on it, so that's, not sure why. For the big Columba, I decided not to mess around with through-hole resistors and instead designed a custom Pico Touch 2 PCB with resistors built in. PCB Way, which sponsored this video, made the PCB for me and it turned out nicely in black. My original idea was to have a rat bite breakaway section for an ultra small option. While it appears to break in two as it should, I ended up using it whole. It's a nice design option, but if I make more, they'll be one piece only. some troubleshooting I've got this thing to work so watch this <laughs> Obviously it'll work better once it actually gets hooked up to the Kalimba or wherever I eventually use it, but I think it was a pretty cool help of board that I came up with. You know, I just want to say thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring this video, and so each one of these is a one mega ohm resistor. And it's just hooked up to GarageBand now, which recognizes it as a MIDI device. So the idea is I could pretty much just run wires from here to here, and unfortunately I only have 16 I.O. But there's 17, so it seems like you always need one more than you have. If this got popular enough, I guess I could make a PCB that fits right on it, and that'd be, that'd be kind of neat, make the contacts there. But I'm not going to do that, at least not yet. So now that I'm doing this, I realize that this is metal and thus it will conduct through there. I covered this up on the uh, little rod down here to prevent that conducting, but looks like this will conduct. See what happens. Yeah, it definitely conducts. So that's gonna screw it up and I need to find some different solution. Might be more heat shrink. And of course it's running on a Raspberry Pi Pico along with my, what I'm calling the Pico Touch 2 board. So yeah, pretty neat. <laughs> 